excited to welcome to the show platinum selling Canadian recording artist Sunreal, who is currently on tour and mm. is promoting his latest project, Nobody's Happy All of the Time. Sunreal, thank you so much for spending time with us. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me, Kelly. I appreciate it. I'm stoked to be here. Yeah. Hey, well, I was telling you just be just before we started recording, it's been a minute since you and I have, have spoken, so I'm super happy to have you back on the show. And I wanted to start off actually by um, asking you how you describe your sound, because when I was prepping for the interview, so many people <clears throat> describe you different ways, like rapper, then I get singer-songwriter, I get uh, pop artist. So how does uh, Sunreal categorize himself? I think I think I mix it up with all that stuff a lot but i would Ooh. if i were to describe my sound really um oh, am i still good okay uh i would say it's like folk meets rap music um i do a lot of rap stuff a lot of hip-hop stuff but i also do a lot of stuff over top of acoustic guitar a lot of stuff that incorporates r&b definitely include pop music in there as well um but mostly i think the the basis of my music comes from like folk meets rap in a lot of ways i think a big majority of uh, some of my favorite songs are mixing those two together when i was uh trolling all of your uh social media i saw that in a lot of your pictures you're uh, often like playing the guitar or strumming the guitar um so is that your go-to instrument like the basis of all of your songs yeah a lot of my songs uh, a lot of my favorite songs actually have been just started in my room with my acoustic guitar um i play guitar on stage i actually play electric on this tour too i've actually never played electric on stage i've only ever played like really acoustic uh but i do healing my song with jesse reyes i do that song uh with the les paul uh, electric and i love it's like so fun like it's um i definitely want to get more electric songs after playing some on this tour um but yeah i mean acoustic guitar my dad played acoustic guitar and uh it's always been like an instrument that is one of like the best like starting points for me of writing a song. And then lots of the time it ends up being like, you know, a big part of the record is, is an acoustic guitar. Even like nylon string uh, guitar, I use that on like Parachute and a lot of other records, like the nylon string is really nice as well. What For the audience, how would you describe your uh, break that got you to where you are now? Like, what do you think led you to where things took off and where you are now? Well, I first got known for shooting like really weird music videos to harder rap songs. So like kind of more aggressive, but like really fun uh, rap songs. And I would shoot like really weird, really weird videos to them. And, um, you know, I did that for years and I, I still actually, I mean, just in 2021, I released a song called Bank On Me that has like this new character in it and stuff. So I still love doing that style of video but i always knew i had more to say i always knew i had more inside of me to to offer my fans and to offer new fans that were going to find me so um that's when i started really digging into like writing a little bit more deeper records a lot more singing getting better at singing um my my dad passed away around the time that i started kind of um doing like a little bit more acoustic stuff and and uh branching out from just doing like more rap rap records um and i attribute a lot of that to a song i did called my friend that reached a lot of people and touched a lot of people and it definitely made me want to kind of just just like i've always been able to do more than just one thing so why not you know and like i think a lot of artists get um they don't want to alienate their fan base so they kind of do like the same thing that kind of got them there over and over and over again to be safe because they know it's going to work they know that the fans want that from them my fans are super open-minded and um i've been lucky enough to do kind of whatever genre of music i want to do and they they love that like some of the biggest songs i do live are, are my singing records um songs like fearless my friend thousand highways songs that are like you know just straight from the heart with with a lot of instrumentation and singing and then I go off and I do everywhere we go. Can I get a witness? Preach like lots of the kind of more, um, you know, fun rap bangers. And I love doing that, too. So I'm lucky I get to do everything that I that I want to do, which is great. What's it been like for you to be back out on tour considering <clears throat> the last three years that we just went through? Honestly, it has been so like I didn't know how much I needed it. It's just like been so cool to see so many new fans and see old fans that have been to the shows for years and like 
I don't know. I think there's something to be said as an artist that I've been touring for years and years now, you know, since 2015, I've been really kind of on the road touring in America and Canada, Europe even. Um, and it's just been really nice for my mental health to like go like see my fans, see how much the music means to them. You know, I get DMs all the time from fans, but it's not the same as seeing somebody in person really tell you what you, your music means to them. And um, it's just been such like a positive experience. And every single place we go, people show up and sing all the words. And it's just like, I don't know, man. I, I feel really grateful. I feel really seen. I feel really um, just a ton of love for my fans, man. Everyone's so nice, too. I have like really nice fans are like the nicest people on the face of the earth. It's wild. They're very nice. That's awesome. Now, recently we had the uh, Juno Awards here in Canada. Um, I saw some pictures, you hanging out, having a good time. Uh, tell me about how you and Jesse Reyes became buds. And obviously you mentioned uh, that you've collaborated with her before and she's such a huge deal for Canadian artists. Yeah, Jesse's the best, man. She's like, uh, first of all, I'm managed by the same manager who's my best friend and one of Jesse's best friends, uh, Byron Wilson. Um, so he manages both of us. And uh, Jesse from Toronto obviously came to LA when I lived there and she would always just crash on our couch and do sessions and she's just like one of my friends like the before music before she even had a song out she was my homie and um it's been really cool to watch her come up the way she's came up because at anyone I've ever met artist wise in this thing she deserves it the most she works really hard and she's got a undeniable gift um and something that everyone saw right from the jump so she really truly deserves to be where she's at and further of where she's going to go and um you know when i link up with her it's just like she's just like one of the like she's just like one of my best friends like i, I love her you know i love you know hanging out with the family everything she's just a, a great person um and she's also a really inspiring person i was getting like mad inspired whenever i hang out with her she always like kind of I don't know. She got a way of like shifting the energy, no matter what, what's going on to be in like super in, in, inspired. Yeah. Getting you super inspired. Sorry. I can't talk. Talk to us about <laughs> um, the Canadian like hip hop R and B scene, because I feel like it's getting to be in a better place. We also have many artists that are doing extremely well and, you know, are doing amazingly around the world uh, in this genre of music. Like, do you feel that it's a good time to be a Canadian hip hop R and B artist? Totally. I think there's never been a better time. I think a lot of people are like going outside of their box and, and doing things differently. Um, and that's like more kind of regular, a little more accepted. Uh, there's artists from like Vancouver, like Boston, doing a lot more singing stuff. Um, even like BB No Money, like he um, does a lot of singing stuff. Savannah Ray out in Toronto is an amazing R&B artist. Um, there's lots of people coming up doing really, really, Preston Pablo, he's amazing too. He's a singer from Toronto. He's gonna to be coming on tour with me in Canada. Um, yeah, I think Canadian hip hop and R&B is in a really good spot. The last time we spoke, I don't believe you'd become a dad yet. So can you talk to us about uh, becoming mm -hmm. a dad and how that's influenced you as an artist? So I had Millie, my firstborn. Uh, she's three years old now, I had her Pretty much at the start of the pandemic, she was born on Christmas Day, 2019. Uh, and now I have two 11-month-old twins, Maeve and Gus. So since the last time I've been on tour, which has been three and a half years now since I've headlined a tour, uh, I've had three kids, <laughs> which is absolutely epic. Um, but um, honestly, it's everything. It's everything to me. And I, I, I can't explain it in a better way than like my whole life music has been everything to me. It's been encompass i've been working at this since i've been 15 years old with no backup plan working construction jobs in vancouver playing coffee shops in front of 10 people my whole life has been dedicated to music and it's it kind of felt like all I, it was all i had and when i had kids because uh, even when you get married you can still just go all in on music and and uh when i had kids it just really opened up the world to me and um let me know that you know this is my calling this is what i'm meant to do but at the end of the day, the thing that's the most important to me is my family and my kids. And um, I do this for them. And I do this so I can come home and, and see them. And I love being a dad. I love the grind of it. It's grindy. Uh, but I, uh, 
I honestly love it. My kids are all, you know, so funny. Like Millie's just so funny. And the twins, it's such a crazy experience having twins and seeing them like connecting and laughing at each other and stealing each other's toys and stuff. And it's literally the best thing that's ever happened to me is having kids. Um, but I'm not going to have any more. I'm tapped out at three for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I got anything more in me. Uh, um, your last project or your last musical project uh, that's out now is Nobody's Happy All the Time. Can you explain the title and what you want your fans and new fans to take from it? Yeah, Nobody's Happy All the Time is my latest uh, album. And um, just like kind of like growing up in a in a world where I know my kids are going to grow up with social media. I look at my nieces and nephew and stuff like that. And like, it's just such a different time. Like now all you have to compare yourself to is a bunch of people posting their highlight reels on Instagram or TikTok. And you don't really see what people are actually going through. And some of the people that you look up to the most and wish you had their life or whatever, you would never know the types of things that they're actually going through because no one shows it. Um, and it's just kind of like, almost like telling my fans that, Hey, if you're going through something, if, if life's hard right now, keep going, keep, keep pushing because, you know, every, nobody's happy all the time. Everybody goes through things. And I heard a quote maybe three or four months ago that just hit me like so hard, but it was like, if we all put our problems in a pot and we all stood there and you got to really see what other people are going through and what everybody's going through, you probably take your problems and run as fast as you could away. And it was just like such a powerful little saying that really like hit me. And um, yeah, I just, it's basically a album out there to, to show love to anybody going through depression, anxiety, mental health issues, and let them know that they aren't alone and um, let them know that, you know, even someone like me that might be their favorite artist or top five favorite artists, I go through things too, just like they do. So, yeah. Do you have a message for your Montreal fans? For my Montreal fans? Well, I'm playing at the Belmont tonight. You got to get your butt down here, uh, first of all. But uh, also, I just want to say every single time I've come to Montreal, <clears throat> the shopping, the food, the hospitality from the fans is absolutely amazing. And that's why I come here every single time I do a, a headline. And so I always make Montreal one of my stops. And uh, yeah, I love it here. It's a beautiful place. Uh, just a couple of quick questions uh, before we go that I like to call uh, fast facts with Sunreal. So um, if you could change places with any artist or producer for one day, who would it be and why? Huh. Uh, maybe... Maybe Nas, because like he's like my favorite rapper from when I was a kid, and he's like my favorite rapper now. Even just listening to his last album, I was like, man, what is going through this guy's mind that he's this hungry right now, that he sounds this good? Um, and he's just like my favorite rap artist. So maybe Nas, just to feel how how passionate he is about what he's doing right now. It's pretty impressive. Uh, what dessert can you never pass up? I like cheesecake. But I'm not a big dessert guy. Everyone makes fun of me. Like people get so mad when the dessert comes around and I'm always just like, I'm good. Like I just don't, I never had really had dessert as a kid much. Like we did, like we had, we'd have ice cream and stuff like that. But like, I wasn't like, um, just have dessert after dinner all the time, but I'd probably say cheesecake or, um, I really like a good crisp. Oh, crisp is, is good too. But I, I do like dessert, but, um, I don't crush it all the time. Um, if you, who's the coolest person in your phone apart from your family and friends? In my phone? Mm -hmm. Like who can you reach out to that people be like, oh, that's pretty sick. Huh. I don't know. I mean, like I've got like artists, like some bigger artists in my phone and stuff, but nothing like, not like Drake or anything like that. <laughs> um, who's the coolest? I don't know. Um, I've got an MMA. I just, at, when I was in Portland, there was an MMA fighter that came to the show and I'm really into like, I don't know, I like watching MMA. It's pretty, I just got into it in like the pandemic, but he's trying to make the UFC right now. I'd say for me, he's like the coolest guy on my phone for sure. That's cool. But I've got, I've got some, I've got some cool artists in my phone though. I do. Okay. Like, like obviously you could reach out to Jesse anytime, right? So. Of course, of course. Yeah. Jesse's up there. That's cool. Um, and uh, what's the photo for your screensaver on your phone? It is my daughter. Perfect. I just that's, checked. That's amazing. It's Millie. It's Millie. It should be all three of them, but um, I got to update it.
Okay, cool. Maybe I'll, I'll update it today. You actually just reminded me. Okay, great. I'm glad we inspired you for something. Um, it's been so great to have you on the show again. We wish you all the best. Can't wait till you come back to Montreal. And we know you're going to kill it tonight. Thank you for a great interview. You're amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Don't forget to follow Sunreal. Super easy. Just ch hit up his Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, all that good stuff at Sunreal. Hey, it's Kelly. And I just want to take a moment to thank you so much for all of the support that you continue to show The Kelly Alexander Show and our latest program, Just Dance, that I co-host with award-winning choreographer, Tina Landon. We've been having so much fun on Just Dance and we'd love for you to be a part of it. We've done interviews with Brian and Scott Nicholson who work with Ariana Grande, uh, RJ and Nick who work with Pink and Katy Perry, Luther Brown who works with our girl Janet Jackson and the list goes on and on. And we also have many surprises coming for you in this coming year. So please sign up and join us to have lots of fun. hy.page slash Kelly Alexander Show, our YouTube channel as well, youtube.com slash Kelly Alexander Show, and our newsletter, which is kellyalexandershow.com slash subscribe.